Hi everybody, this is Connie. It is late at night on a Saturday night and I thought I would film some videos. I just was bored and um, things happened today on Facebook that I wasn't real happy with so I just decided to to get up and, and use some of my energy for filming some videos I guess <laughs> so I do have a few videos to do today um, not not a whole lot but a few that'll take me through the next week week and a half anyway um, so anyway this is my get ready with me and I thought I would give you another update on on this video on me um, I'm still not doing great it's been now it's been a week since I lost my job um, a week of kind of wallowing I guess you'd say um, I haven't felt very good all week um, I didn't feel good at all today uh, sick wise today uh, I don't know why I just I had such a horrible headache I didn't feel good I and the rest of the week is just I've just been so blah you know um, but it's time to get off my butt and I have gone to job service, I have looked in the papers, I have um, filled out applications, nothing yet. I did fill, uh, fill out an application for unemployment, I haven't heard anything yet. Um, getting a little worried about that because I did that right away. And I still have not heard anything. Um, no job prospects, no nothing. Um, I did break down and do a GoFundMe yesterday and uh, my friend Dawn said now do a video about it and tell people that it's out there well I would rather instead of doing that I think I'm gonna take my GoFundMe page down because I just feel so guilty doing it but if anybody would be so kind as to help me out with some groceries or paying my um, cable and internet bill for me you know stuff like that um, I do have a PayPal account and that is um, the same as my email Connie6344 at gmail.com if you know you most definitely don't have to I'm not ba I and I don't certainly don't want to beg anybody to but um, and I did get a little help and it helped me with my rent. It, um, so, you know, a few people have helped me, and I, I thank you so much. I mean, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. I am not, you know, people, people acted today in a group. Um, first of all, um, somebody else is in dire need also so they put up a GoFundMe page for her and most of you know her and she got a lot of money really fast um, and that kind of inspired me into doing the same thing well it's been um, oh 18 hours or so and I still am at zero so that really does a lot to boost a person's confidence, you know, and, and people are saying, you know, they gave to her so they can't afford to give to me, you know, stuff like that, which I totally understand, and I am not going to beg, so I'm going to take my GoFundMe page down, but if anybody is inclined to help me out, um, anyway, anyway, I'm going to get off of that subject and get on to the the real reason for this video is my get ready with me. I tried out a bunch of um, stuff today that I hadn't used before that I got in swaps. So I'll show you those, um, everything that I used. I got this in a box or something a long time ago. Um, this is the first thing I use. It's Eddie Funkhauser um, Lux Light. I'm going to put my glasses on actually if I can figure out where they're at. Never mind, they're in the bathroom. Um, this is Lux Light Hydrating Primer can and Candlelight. And it did have a little bit of color to it. Not a whole lot, but it did have a little bit. Um, I can't say that I'm real pleased with this. It was, it was kind of chunky, which is gross to me. 
whether it's too old or what. I don't think that it's that, that terribly old, but um, it was a little bit chunky, which kind of grossed me out a little bit. Anyway, the next thing I used, I, I got in a swap, and it is the Revlon Age Defying with DNA Advantage um, Cream Makeup, and it is in the color... And the color I don't know. Ten bare buff, which is just a tiny bit dark for me, but it still works, I believe. Um, can't say that I'm totally nuts about this either, but I will use it. Um, it's not something that I don't that I dislike. It's just not my favorite. It's got a pump, which I'm always happy about, and I did say it was from Revlon. Yes, okay. So the next thing I got in another in a swap also, and I'd had some of this stuff, but it wasn't the dark circle corrector. It was the just the concealer in the Maybelline Age Rewind. Um, it is very greasy feeling. Um, it doesn't take much to put it on. Uh, I can see that I have it on, but. I don't know. I, I like the other a lot better. Let's put it that way. Um, the the regular, the Age Rewind, the concealer. I like that so much better. Because this here, you put it on and it just kind of slides around. And I had to, I tried to do, to pat it in with my fingers and that did not work whatsoever. So I did use my Beauty Blender to pat it in. So anyway, there you go with that. My brows I used, I have a sample one of the Benefit Brow something. Gimme Brow. Sorry. <laughs> it's this here. Benefit Gimme Brow. And this is what it looks like. It's very tiny. It's got a very tiny... It was a little bit hard to work with because of it's so tiny. Um, but it worked pretty good, I think. Um, the color is okay. The color, I would either... I, I almost wish it was just a touch darker. But, and this here is probably brunette, the color, I don't know. Medium deep. Um, I don't know, it's, it's all right. It's not so bad. I don't mind this at all. It, I would probably change my, my view of this if I had a regular, regular size. But this is just so darn tiny, it's a little bit hard to work with. Okay, so for eyeshadows... I got these in a swap a while ago, these um, pencils that I had never used. And um, there's some that are scandalized, and there's a couple that are CoverGirl, and I will show you. I use this all over my lid. This is CoverGirl flamed out in... Let me see if I can find the name on here anywhere. It's in color 340. That's as much as I can tell. It's kind of a, a pinkish, uh, champagne-y color. This is what it looks like. And I will swatch these on my hand. Alright, so I use that all over my brow. Then I used this one just on my eyelid. And this is also CoverGirl. This is color 350. Yeah, I don't see another color. And that's what that one looks like. Kind of a taupey, taupey brown color. And I use that on my eyelid and in my crease. Then this one I used um, on my outer corner, and I didn't like it very much. Um, this was the creamiest of them all. Actually, whoops, I don't want to show you that yet. It's just a deep brown. And this is Scandalize um, by Rimmel. It's waterproof. Okay, Bad Girl Bronze is the name of this one. And then this one is Gold Digger. And this is also Scandalize. 
and I use this in the center of my eye. Everybody kind of knows that knows me likes knows I like that little bit of gold in the center of my eyelid. And so here are all of the the four. Here's the first one here. Whoops. Here's the first one here. I'm sorry. You can hardly see that pink there. And then they go up from there. I used all four of those colors. And this is kind of what I did. I don't know if you would be able to tell or not. Um, don't know that I'll use them a lot. Um, they were okay. I wasn't real impressed, though. Okay, so um, liner, I went a little dramatic and did my bottom um, waterline today and my top waterline also. This is by... This is a Master Kajal by Maybelline um, in Onyx Rush. This is what it looks like. Just a kind of a bullet looking thing. And this is... And it goes on very creamy and very, um, very, uh, very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so then I used All May One Coat Thickening Mascara in Blackest Black. And that's what this looks like. And this is pretty good mascara. I don't have any complaints about this mascara at all. Okay. So then I use blush and I use the um, Blush Me Pink. <gasps> Excuse me. And this is by Me 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 and I have not used this in forever. It's in a box. And it looks like this and it's got a little bit of tiny bit of glitter in there and it's very pretty I like it a lot and I I for my highlighter I haven't used this in forever and this is the wet n wild uh, reserve your cabana and I use that for my for my highlight and then last or not lastly but I use the physician's formula um, Mineral Wear Talc Free Pre um, Airbrush Pressed Powder. Come here, here. And that's what that looks like. Very pretty. I mean, I really like their packaging. Although they have, they're really thick, their stuff. Okay, the last thing I used was lipstick, and that is Marc Jacobs. It's a mini. And it is, I'm hoping I can read this. I have to find my, I think my light fell on the floor here. As I was getting ready and I never picked it up. Ugh. Excuse me. It is Jetami. Jetami? How do you say that? My thing quit working. God dang it. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Very pretty. Very creamy. I really like it. Okay, that is my makeup of the day. Um, if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. And like I said, you know, my, my PayPal is the same as my email down below. Um, I do appreciate everything that anybody's done for me so far or in the future thank you so much just until i get back on my feet and i promise i will pay it forward i always do thank you bye bye